the magic of the cup is truly back. Gonna get feisty here. Oh. Not happy. Yes. This one is gonna go down to the wire. Pretty good game here. Look at the fans. First played in 1871, the FA Cup is the oldest domestic cup competition in the world. And this season's tournament starts this week. I'm going to see Footy Adventures regulars Penrith AFC play at home to Pickering Town in the extra preliminary round. Hard one to say. Months before the big boys enter this competition, the FA Cup starts at grassroots levels of English football before culminating in a final at Wembley in front of 90,000 people. Whether or not Wembley is full for the final remains to be seen. Fans are allowed back into smaller games like the ones today in England, but trials have begun at bigger clubs and and you saw Brighton and Chelsea take each other on in a friendly the other day in front of over 2,000 fans. Back to the FA Cup though, last season's final, Mikel Arteta's Arsenal overcame Chelsea in front of an empty Wembley, and the road to Wembley begins today for Penrith and Pickering Town. Times have been tough for clubs lately, and there is prize money even at this level of the competition, so that's an added incentive for the smaller clubs. A good run, and who knows what could happen. It's a beautiful day here, as it always seems to be when I come and visit my friends at Penrith Football Club. Let's get down to the game, and I'll tell you more about the teams. Look at this, what a beautiful day. Stadium's just over there. I've got my sunnies on. I'm sitting in the park, just chilling, waiting for kickoff. Pickering is over two hours away from Penrith, so it is quite the trip for the away team. These two have met once before, and it was during Pickering's debut in the FA Cup. It was in the 93-94 season. Pickering ran out 5-2 winners at their home ground. Mill Lane. For today's match, I'm going to be chatting to BBC Radio Cumbria. I did appear on James Phillips' evening show a few weeks ago. Today I'll be providing the show with updates from the game. You can still listen to the show once it's gone out, so I'll leave a link down below and you can check it out for yourself. I can obviously edit out the many mistakes that I make in my vlogs, but the pressure's really on when I have to go on the radio. So let's just hope that I don't miss anything. Interesting one today, players are just coming out. If it goes to, if it's a draw, if it finishes a draw, it won't go to extra time, there's no replay, but it will go straight to penalties, so exciting one. So I'm here with Bradley, club mascot here at Penrith FC. What's the score gonna be today, Brad? Well, I think Penrith will win, I think we'll be here 4-1. 4-1, we'll see, we'll see. For Penrith, after six minutes, number nine, Max Brown. Uh, great time to call me. Penrith have just scored through Max Brown. So I believe that there is a limit at this level so far. It's either between 15 and 30 percent of capacity, but I reckon there's probably a good 100 people here today at least, and it's nice to have some atmosphere back in inside a stadium. Perfect. Thank you. One nil. Penrith are playing some amazing football here, they really are. Winning 1-0. Remember there's money on it today. They're running the FA Cup. This team that they're playing, they're a division or two above them. It's kind of hard to find out the info online, but from what I've heard from speaking to people, they are on paper a better team. So, positive start so far from the home team. Penrith are dominating. Fans are loving it, look at that. Two Penrith stalwarts down there. We got Bradley, the mascot, and Billy Williams, who you've seen before on my channel, the chairman. Getting rowdy in here. My first game back with fans since March. Oh. Knew there'd be a few remember that in here. Ref's given a lot to uh, Pickering at the moment. 
not the most popular man inside of Penrith. The man in black. Yes. I know I've been to one game here since lockdown, but that was behind closed doors. It is good to have fans back. Adds to the atmosphere a lot more, and it's been a great start from Penrith. They are 2 0 up in this season's FA Cup extra preliminary round. And what a beautiful day, what a beautiful night. <laughs> Look at that, 3-0. Early contender for goal of the season, that. That is insane. Third goal for Penrith, 31 minutes, number seven, Luke Brown. Oh. oh, another chance. It's just been made 3-0 and I turned the GoPro and they've almost made it for Penrith. They were not touted to win today. Obviously, what I was saying earlier about these lads being higher up than them in the pyramid. But here we go, go on. What a performance so far. Penrith have absolutely dominated. Loving it. Goal for Bigger in Town. 36 minutes, number seven, Adam Warlow. Took off me there, what a goal. Volley from, volley from like 30 yards, 3-1. I'm back with Bradley, team mascot here at Penrith Football Club. It is 3-1 at half time. We were 3-0 up, mm -hmm. they got a goal just towards mm -hmm. the end of the half. What do you think? What do you think of the first half? It's not too bad, Sam. It were creating another opportunities. Yep. Any chances, took off the max. And what would it mean to you as a fan to have a good run in the FA Cup? Well, we will be, we'll be happy. Big Penrith proud. Yeah. They get a FA Cup run on and get to the FA Cup first round proper. And who would the, if you had to get a dream team from anywhere in the country, Premier League, anyone in the Championship League 1, League 2, who would you play? On the first round, um, first round proper, we might get against Crawley. Crawley? Crawley. And the second round, I think we get Oxford. Oxford, yeah. And on the third round, the dream team will be away to... Uh, Man United. Man United, not Arsenal. I know you like Arsenal. No, Man United. Man United. Cool. Thank you, Bradley, and we'll chat to you at full time as well. Uh, Second half's just about to start. You can see the moon about to appear from over those trees. What a great day for a game of football. 3 2. They're getting back into it now. Jesus. Penalty call there, it's going to get feisty here. Oh. It is now 3-2. Pickering are looking to come back at the moment, but it's been some game here in the FA Cup so far. Luke Brown and Max Brown both scored, and Max Brown's having an absolute stormer up front. He's the former um, Carlisle United man, so yeah, he's having a great game up front for them. Thanks very much. 3-2. Pickering starting to come back into it, it's getting feisty, they almost had a penalty appeal there, but I did have a penalty appeal, could have been given, the ref didn't give it, come on, but tension's really building here, as obviously Penrith for 3-0 up, it's now 3-2, going to be a big end to the game. Not happy. This one's getting feisty. We've got three minutes left of added time and it's still 3-2. Penrith are holding on. There's a bit of uh, aggro here. We were told it's three minutes. Two minutes into added time, we've been told it's six. So there's now another like four minutes to go at least. This one is going to go down to the wire. Pretty good game here. Look at the fans. Great to have fans back at the game. 3-2, about four minutes to go. This one's getting tense now. Another corner. Another corner. Penrith manager's not happy. The atmosphere was amazing. It was 3 0 after about 20 minutes to Penrith. Uh, they got a goal back, Pickering Town, just before the break, and then it was 3 2. 
about 10 minutes into the second half and they managed to hang on. There were some great saves from the keeper and the magic of the cup is truly back. It was an absolutely brilliant game, it really was. It is as early as you can get in the FA Cup. I think there's about four or five rounds until we get to round one proper. And then I think from there, it's about seven or eight games to the final. So we're as early as you can get and the road to Wembley has started today. I'll let you know when I'm back in town. All right, thanks very much. So, um, Billy, great to see you again. Obviously, um, we've had the FA Cup here now, as well as a couple of other pre-season games. How good does it feel to um, win today in your first competitive match back in back in front of the crowds here at Friendsfields? Yeah, makes a refreshing change. <laughs> yeah. And um, obviously, they're they're very useful side. Uh, so yeah, all credit to our lads. Picked up three injuries, which is disappointing, but. Mm -hmm. uh, We'll see how we go on Saturday. We've got an important game Saturday yep. as well. And it was a it was a good game, and obviously being three 0 up so early on to hold on to win three two was it getting nervous for you as much as everyone else? Oh, absolutely. I mean, as I say, when we get three injuries, it, it plays a big part in the game. And, yeah, uh, absolutely. But no, all credit to us. I mean, um, we have some very inexperienced players at this level. Yeah. So uh, they'll they'll again from that and what does it mean to um, to win a game in the FA Cup like this to the club especially after what's been happening you know this year well it, it, it's the, it, it starts the momentum which is so important for a yeah. small club like yeah. us the momentum of trying to attract people down obviously there was a little few people here tonight which yeah. is the FA Cup normally costs us money yeah um, tonight we made one pound profit. Oh, brilliant. It's better than losing a pound, isn't it? That's right. Great. Well, thanks anyway, Billy. I really appreciate you uh, chatting to me. We spoke before the game. Mm -hmm. We spoke at half time. It's now full time. Mm -hmm. You said 4 1. Yeah. You got the right amount of goals. Mm -hmm. You got the right team. Mm -hmm. But in the end, it was 3 2. Yeah. It was quite a tense game, wasn't it? Well, it was. Um, it was dry. We tried to get the fourth goal to yeah. kill the game off. We couldn't. But uh, overall, we've gone through to the next round, penalty round. Yep, good Obviously, way to start the season, isn't it? Competitive win like that, and then you've got the league that starts this weekend. You'll be here for the game, won't you? Yes, I am. I'll get you my team seat for your time as well. Thank you, Brad. Well, um, so, yeah, hopefully we'll be with the beggar for the speed points, and, uh, and we're ready to follow the beat as well. And you come to every game here, don't you? Yeah, home and away. So. You're Penrith's biggest fan. Yeah, um, yeah, so... I've been here yeah, about 15 years now as team mascot. Um, now um, it's it's difficult, you know. I've been team mascot so many, for a long time. Yeah. I'm and I'm not the club. I'm yeah. not the town. I'm not the KFC. Yeah. I'm not yeah. the fried chicken. Nice. Yeah. So you got to know your KFCs. Um, ooh, uh, well, um, well, thanks for showing me around today. A great win today for Penrith in the FA Cup. Um, you were looking a bit nervous on the touchline. Absolutely, yeah. Um, I can't help it, that's how I am. I know, yeah. So um, there was a few uh, like decisions with the ref and stuff like that. Do you find it like, um, do you find that you're more up for it in these competitive games as opposed to obviously yeah. the non-league kind you, of? If you're not up, if you're not up for it on a day like today, then you shouldn't be playing yeah, football. Exactly. It's as simple as that. And I think the lads showed that. Um, it's a lot of passion, a lot of desire. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and a togetherness out there that that I think you need in any game, not just the FA Cup, but you always need a little bit of a little slice of luck as well. Absolutely, uh, and the league starts this weekend as well, yeah. so how do you reckon that will springboard? They've got to take the positives, they can't, you can't rest on that, you've got to take all the positives from what they've just produced tonight and, and put it into Saturday. Absolutely, well thanks so much for speaking to me, I really no appreciate problem. it. What a game, the magic of the FA Cup is truly back. Thanks again to the people at Penrith. They're always so welcoming. They're such a nice club and uh, yeah, there's a great community feel here. And I really do wish them all the best in the FA Cup. Really helps the small teams. They've beaten a team who are above them in the ladder of English football. So a bit of an upset as well. An early upset in the FA Cup. Absolutely class. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.